Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to restore backup and how to transfer data on the Realme C63. Okay, so as a first method I'll show you how to transfer data from your old device into your Realme C63. So, as you can see we are doing the setup process. Uh, so, now we need to click on this blue arrow. Uh, and as a second method I'll show you how to restore backup from the uh, Google one. So, uh, first select your language, then click on next. Now select your region. Then click on next. If you have a SIM card you can insert it right now, then click on next. And now we have a first uh, option that we are interested in. Uh, it's set up using another device. You can see that already on our second device. And uh, that option appeared right now on the screen. So um, on our Realme C63, let's select the Android device in my case. Uh, and on our second device, let's click on Setup. Okay, now we have this QR code that appeared uh, on the screen. And now using our old device, we need to scan it. So that's what I'm going to do, just like that. And now you can see that our Realme is being connected to the Wi-Fi automatically. Uh, so now we need to wait a little bit. Uh, so I'll see you once this loading screen is finished. Okay, now the loading screen is finished. And now we need to verify by typing the uh, password to our Google account for, uh, that we are logged in on our old device. So now I'll need to type the password. Okay, then click on next. Uh, oh, sorry, I typed the wrong password, so... Uh, now, now click next. Okay, now the uh, our account will be copied, so we need to wait. Mm, okay, copy data from Android device, we want to click on next. Now the uh, our old device says uh, to continue the setup on our new device. Okay, getting ready to copy. This might take a few minutes, so we need to be patient. So I'll see you once this loading screen is finished. Okay, we are uh, after the loading screen. And now we have option to choose how to copy. It can be express or it can be customized. Uh, I'll select the customize because uh, I want to only the specific apps to be copied. So click on next. Now simply select what you want to copy or don't want to copy. Uh, in my case I want everything from that list except the apps. So now once you have selected everything that you want, click on copy. And now the process will start. Okay, uh, now click on get it. Now we have the Google services. Uh, in here, uh, in my opinion, you should uh, leave everything uh, as it is. And now click on accept. Now we have option to backup our device. It is really convenient and comfortable feature uh, and useful uh, one. So I would keep everything enabled. Then click on turn on. But remember that everything uh, is up to you. You can do everything that you want. Now click on next. Now we need to select a default browser. In my case, I want the Google Chrome as my default browser and Google as my search engine. Oh, I misclicked, sorry. Uh, Google set as default. Now we can select the unlock method, uh, but in my case, I want to skip it. Uh, you can always do it later in the settings. Now we have uh, access, uh, our assistant to Hey Google, uh, so we will be able to use the voice commands. I want to agree for that. Uh, in here we have the uh, Hey Google to launch the Google Assistant, I'll also agree. Uh, in here, uh, I'll agree. Uh, okay, in here, if you want to can add other email account or review additional apps, but I want to click on no thanks. We can already see on our both devices right now that the copying has been successfully done. And in here we have a list what has been copied. Now we want to click on done. Okay, again, getting your phone ready. We need to wait a little bit. And now on our second device, we can click on close. Uh, in here, click on done. Now click on get started. Okay, and now we are ready to use our device. 
Uh, remember that some of the apps might still be installed from the uh, Play Store. You can see that uh, under the notification bar, you can see that some of the apps are still being installed. Uh, so I would say don't disconnect from the Wi-Fi yet uh, and wait until everything will be downloaded. All right, so that was the first method. Uh, and now I'll show you how to uh, restore the backup from the Google One. All right, so now the second method. Uh, which, like I have said, it will be how to restore the backup from the Google One. So again, we are doing the setup process. And when we have a possibility right now to set up using another device, we want to click on skip this time. Just like that. Now we need to connect to the Wi-Fi uh, manually. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to type my password. Then simply connect. Okay. And now click on next, just like that. Now we need to wait a little bit until this loading screen is off. It might take a few minutes, so you need to be patient. All right, and now we have a possibility to copy apps and data. We want to click on next. And now we want to select that we can't use other device. Now click on OK. Again, we need to wait a little bit. Again, we have the checking information. And now we have a possibility to log in into the Google account. That's the thing that we want to achieve. Uh, and now it is uh, really important. Now we need to log in into the same Google account uh, on which we made the backup before. It is really important, so uh, remember about it. Also, if you don't know how to create such a backup, uh, on our channel there's a video where I'm showing you step by step how to do it. So if you want, you can look for it. Uh, so now uh, I need to type my uh, mail. Okay, now click on next and now we need to type the password, just like that. Then click on next. Okay, now click on next, click on I agree. We need to wait a few seconds. Okay. And now that's the thing that we wanted to get. Uh, restore data from another device. In here we have a list of backups uh, that uh, I made on my on this account. Uh, and now I'll select this backup. For example, now click on next. And uh, now I need to also draw my lock screen to confirm. Uh, I mean the lock screen from my uh, other uh, from my other readme. Uh, and now we need to choose what we want to restore. And when it comes to the Google Photos, Gmail, Calendar and Drive, uh, that things are synced automatically. And below we have options uh, to choose what to copy. It can be apps, contacts and the device settings. Uh, once you have selected everything that you want, click on Restore button. And now the process will start. And now we need to continue the setup of our device. And again, just like in the previous method, uh, we have the Google services. And in here, I'm just going to rush through. If you want uh, some more information about it, uh, go to the previous method. Uh, basically, in here, I'm going to select every, uh, the same things that I did before. I mean, in the previous method. So when it comes to the backup, I want to turn it on. When it comes to the default browser, in my case, it's going to be Google Chrome and Google as my default search engine. I'm going to skip the S unlock method. You can always set it later in the settings. Remember about it. Now let's click on to continue the setup. We have uh, all those uh, Google uh, Assistant uh, stuff. Uh, I'm just going to agree to everything. Uh, I agree. 
Uh, I don't want any other account to be added or any additional apps, so I'm going to click on no thanks. Okay, in here I'm gonna click on done. Now click on get started. And now our device is ready to use. Uh, remember not to disconnect uh, from the uh, internet yet, because some of the apps might still be installed from the Play Store. And just to make sure, open up your notification bar, uh, scroll down, and in here uh, you can see that some of the apps are still being installed. So uh, wait until everything uh, gets downloaded. All right, and that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.